There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And this is by Icarian Software. And it's Zeppelin, Giants of the Sky. Uh, look at all those famous faces. This is by a German company by the looks of things. Might be wrong. Some nice theme music there and I think we're just going to cycle through credits here. So I'll just click on Zeppelin Giants of the Sky. Alright. Let's see what we can make of this. Oh, it's mouse controlled. Number of players, choice between one and two. Well, I don't have anyone to play with. I'm not going to drag Karina in here and say, Hey, Karina, let's play Zeppelin, Giants of the Sky. New game. Do you want to play the easy version of Zeppelin? Yes, please. We're, we're, we're new. Okay. So we actually get to select a historical picture of what I guess we'll look like. Um... Let's go with this guy. He's got a nice moustache. Okay. Please enter name. Lonnie. Alright. Enter the name of New Zeppelin. The Lonnie Craft. No. Hold on. Zeppy McZepface. Absolutely. Zeppy McZepface. Yes. Alright. So... Airship Zeppi McZepface is in Berlin. Uh, it's the 1st of January. And our finances are 2 million. Good grief. So, we've got a series of options here on the left hand side. So, I guess we should explore them. Let's do it. Production. Oh, change of music. So, we've got. One workers, in assembly zero, on contract zero. The ship price is 830,000. That is a lot. Uh, development, we've got scientists. Now, that's to improve our zeppelins, I guess. And we can allocate workers and scientists, and we can even go, nah, I don't need any scientists at all. Let's see, we've got... Right. The number of workers increases the ship price. You can see that go up. But the build time goes down. Well, that makes sense. In assembly, change that to one. Do you really want... No, 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 no. We, we do want to build an airship. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's turn the number of scientists up to 10. 15. For no reason. And then we'll right click to get out of that menu. We are constructing our new Zeppelin to join Zeppi McZepface. Let's go to Airship. Airship Zeppi McZepface in Berlin. There's fuel which costs Yep, money. Hydrogen, helium. Yes, you need that mixture. A depot costs 200 pounds rent per week. Do you really want to go ahead? Uh, no, no, let's... Let's have a look. The cabin's good, engines are good, hull's good. We could build depots, but... Let's not worry about that currently. Let, let's just explore all the various options we've got here. So, fly, presumably, is where we can send our Zeppelin. Like, on the map. So, we'll have a look at city instead. Oh, very cheerful. Berlin, capital of Germany since 1871. Originated out of the fishing villages Berlin and Köln. Granted city status in 1235. So we've got... What's that? 
the number of medals we have? Uh, the answer is none. So, record flights. Oh, record flights. Not a rec record of flights, but the speed and distance and height. Okay, so it's like a Zeppelin competition. Oh, look, the picture's changed. Boer War soon to be ended. According to the rumors, that's good to know. Freight. So, one ton of hardwood due from Berlin for delivery to London. I'll accept. Okay, your Zeppelin is now loaded and can proceed with contract fulfillment. And we get a little loading animation for Zeppi McZepface. And what about this? I don't think that does anything. I think that might be decorative. So we were able to pick up some wood from Berlin. Uh, we don't have m many uh, passengers or anything. Let's have a look at the finances. Hey, we've got a stock market here. Interesting. So you can purchase shares or share sell uh whoa. share se I can't even say it Sh sell shares in your own company hmm okay let's have a look at the sheet uh-huh this is very intriguing you can see all the all the various outgoings and ingoings and so on so this is essentially like Transport Tycoon, but for exclusively for Zeppelins. <laughs> and I like the, uh, the sort of beige look to it. It's a very specific, stylized look. So let's have a look at our scheduled flights. Uh, no route in operation. Management. Oh, right, you can, you can change the management style uh, from beginner to average to... Pro. Uh huh. Interesting. So let's hit the fly button and see see if we can. Uh, not possible. <laughs> no gas or fuel. Right. So we need to go here and we need to fuel up. So I guess we'll have to rent out the depot. Right for gas and then uh, uh oh I clicked away right click always clicks you away we can then transfer I'm clicking and holding here and you can see my finances going down as a result oh oh you have a choice between hydrogen or helium as your gas source right so you could have a helium one or, or just a hydrogen zeppelin. Let's fuel up. Okay. Uh, advertising. No advertisement contract at present, but we could accept one. Uh, let's see. Klinger Chocolade. Sounds tasty. I think chocolade is chocolate. That'll give us additional revenue over the course of 76 weeks for shamelessly advertising on our Zeppelin. All right. I'm getting the hang of it now. Interesting. You know what? The music is really cool. It's, it's Sound Blaster, but it seems to have that kind of almost reactive iMuse thing going on. Let's see, I'm going to pay attention to the music now. Just exit out. It wasn't really, it wasn't completely seamless, but it was nice. So now, we have the ability to go with Zeppi McZepface. Travel on the airship from Berlin to... Uh, let's see. I think it was London we needed to go to, wasn't it? Okay. Start. Five passengers booked on trip on the airship Zeppi McZepphias. Okay. You said it, the captain. Okay. We've told him to do that. 
and then we've clicked on the date and I think that is to sort of proceed yep there he goes our Zeppelin is proceeding to London airship Zeppi McZepvius arrival in London stop <laughs> it's like that yeah I forget the name of them uh, you know that the, the, the little things where you would send Morse code and there we are where the airship has successfully carried out its contract this brings in 51,000 pounds sweet we now have more money Kaiser bestows order of the Red Eagle on Graf Zeppelin. Boo! We don't like Graf Zeppelin. They're our arch nemesis. Okay, can we... Oh! Hey! It's, an, it's, it's a little interlude from the London Telegraph. Okay. First Zeppelin takes to the skies. The first airship of Graf Ferdinand von Zeppelin uh, flew over Lake Constance. Marveling crowds celebrated the event. The Wright brothers have made their first test flights with their home-built glider. Yeah, we know what happened there. And the second Olympic Games have been held in Paris. This is fascinating. It's like... How, how to best put this? It's like a historical business management simulator. And everything just appears to be sensible, logical. So we're in London. The date has stopped. So we can now operate accordingly. And this little tab at the top means that we can change uh, which Zeppelin we're looking at. So let's see what London has for us. Capital of Great Britain, the seat of government and city of royal palaces, an ancient trade centre named Londinium by the Romans. That is correct. If you play Rome Total War, you end up sacking Londinium. It's good fun. I think, I think it was Londinium, wasn't it? Yeah. I might be wrong about that. Haven't played in a while. So, let's have a look. Boer War soon to be ended is still a rumour. Uh, let's see if we've any freight to pick up. At the present, at present, there are no special contracts available. So there's no way for us to make any quick cash with our Zeppelin by flying elsewhere. So we're going to have to do something else in order. Let's, let's see our airship. Fuel's okay. Plenty of gas. So it's just like me. It's a lot of fuel in the tank and a lot of gas as well. I guess we'll just fly to a different city then, won't we? Um, travel to... Cairo, why not? To Cairo! Start! Five passengers booked a trip on the airship Zeppi McZepvius. Okay, they want to go see yeah, Cairo. So. Jawohl! This is clearly a German game. Uh, so, that's it booked. I still need to hit the date in order to proceed so I'll do that light cloud engines are good cabins good they've been downgraded from very good so once I get to Cairo I might need to look at repairs off I go to Egypt oh the Egyptian government is interested in buying some airships right well we've only got one airship so I'm afraid we can't you know sell you it but say if we're hard up on finances we could you know potentially use that to our advantage sell them one of the zeppelins so it's a three week limited deal interesting I like these little events that you know pop up this could go the distance, you know. It's actually very addictive. It's scratching that business management itch that I have. Okay, it's en route. So we have the ability once there's a like ticker tape notice. It's it's not ticker tape. Ticker tape's the stuff you get in the parades, Lonnie. 
what is it called? Ah, the, the, the thing that you'd send with Morse code. Somebody in the comments will tell me. I have people who are nearly that old, right? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, let's continue to Cairo. It's always a good way to do a YouTube channel. Bad mouth the people that are watching your stuff. Queen Victoria dies! Oh no. I actually watched a queen die. Not in person, you know, the whole uh, lead up to it. And honestly, I was expecting more of a big deal to be made of it than it, it was. Right, so we're still en route to Cairo, but the entire game ground to a standstill in order to tell us that Queen Victoria had died. Just as we left Great Britain, was Zeppi McZepface responsible for the death of Victoria? They fled to Egypt shortly beforehand. Those dastardly villains. Airship. Oh, oh. Oh, right. The Berliner Unziger. I, I can't quite read that. Sensational world record. The airship Zeppi McZepface has, during its flight today, heralded a new era of air travel. This record assures it its place in the history of flight. Well done, Zeppi McZepface. Heads of state, emperors and kings have all telegraphed, that's the term I'm looking for, telegraphed, their congratulations to the airship owner. There now seems little that stands in the way of the ultimate success of an airship future. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with Zeppelins? Pump them full of helium, send them up there, nothing could go wrong. £200,000 prize money. The London Telegraph has awarded the Zeppelin owner a total of £200,000 prize money in recognition of his distance record achievement. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, they just gave me a pile of money for travelling to Egypt. Uh, I guess that's the end of the month. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in the city of Cairo. Oh yeah, the pyramids are in Egypt. Capital of Egypt, built on the River Nile, economic and intellectual centre of the country. The pyramids lie not far from the city. So, let's see freight. One ton of chemicals from Cairo to Paris. Yeah, I can do that. I don't know what the chemicals are, but I'll take them. And we can look here at... What's negotiations registration? What's that? Do you wish to register negotiations in Cairo? No! I don't know what they are, but I outright refuse. And there we go. Look. Distance record. Non-stop London to Cairo inside 15 days set by Lonnie. Thank you, thank you. So, we need to go to Paris now. So, let's... Uh, da, 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 fly. Not possible. No gas or fuel. Oh yeah, we should probably sort that out. We did do the distance record, didn't we? So... What? We, we, we have fuel there, don't we? Why can't we fly? Hmm. So... Do we have to build another depot? Transfer some fuel, and then transfer that. I, I thought we had. Right, we've got fuel, right? There we go. So, we're going to Paris. And you can see that they're in alphabetical order. Whoa, you can fly to San Francisco. That is significant. But we'll boost the cost to 500 because we're world famous now. Five passengers for 500 quid. Yeah, whoa! I'm actually saluting this guy as I'm doing this. Okay. I, I, I've just been completely <laughs> sucked into this. Uh, okay. Departure from Cairo. Stop. 
Reminds me of a Black Adder joke. He was annoying uh, Charlie Chaplin by a telegram. And Chaplin got the better of him. What? The airship Zeppi McZepface in service with Lonnie has not fulfilled the contract. Find 63,750. Did I go to the wrong place? Or was it just an impossible contract to fulfill? Huh. I guess we messed up there. I'll be able to look in the editor and be like, ah, oh, right, that's where I messed up. Arrival in Paris. I think I've seen sort of the extent of the basic stuff. I didn't get that second Zeppelin. If we look at uh, production. Yeah. Completion. 291. Not quite there yet. And our scientists, which we chose 15 of, their progress has, has gone up as well. But I'm going to leave it there. Why do you ask? Let's go to the main theme. There we go. Because that's 20 minutes again. And it's a very rare thing that happens on this channel, but all four of the games I played this week were all good. Like, legitimately good. You had Hack, you had Museum Madness, you had Lighthouse, and now Zeppelin, Giants of the Sky, I think it was called. What is it? It's a historical business management simulator. It's got nice sound blastery music. It's got a clear and simple menu system to navigate. You can choose the difficulty between, say, beginner or something a bit more advanced. You can control multiple Zeppelins. And honestly, I really enjoyed myself. I, I feel like I got a good accounting of the basics, but there's probably more mechanical depth to this than I'm giving credit for, say, like in capitalism. And I'm very impressed. I know all the kids say this word these days, but I love the aesthetic, sepia-toned everything, giving it this historical feel like an old piece of parchment. It's excellent and harkens back to the turn of the century, the beginning of the 20th century, that bizarre time when we all had giant balloon-like objects in the sky, but didn't have air travel in the form of actual airplanes. So yeah. Really, really enjoyable and unique and different game that is clearly set apart from its competitors thanks to its style. And it does enough right that I'd recommend it for all business management sim fans, all Zeppelin fans, and fans of early 20th century history. Because it has that little sort of historical bit where it's teaching you little things. Not in an edutainment fashion, but just in a kind of, hey, here's a cool fact. And you're like, yeah, that is a cool fact. Thank you, Zeppelin, Giants of the Sky. And if you like me talking about random DOS games all the time, feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel. I play all kinds of stuff on there. And if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. And if you are sky high like a mighty Zeppelin, you might be one of my high-flying patrons who could make it to Cairo in record time. Look at those wonderful names. Some of the brightest minds since the turn of the 20th century. So yeah, really enjoyed this one, as you can probably tell from my enthusiasm. I'm a big fan of business management simulators. And I'm really, really happy to end the week and the video with a big old smile on my face. Great stuff. Until next time.